farming is becoming tougher and tougher and the margins are becoming smaller, so we really need to diversify and, and move into other areas. We have a mixed farming enterprise and rice is our traditional crop. We grow other crops, including wheat and barley and oats. And a couple of years ago, we started looking around and we came across TEF. Hi, I'm Fraser McNoll I'm a farmer from the New South Wales Riverina. TEF is an ancient grain that originates from Ethiopia. It's been a staple in their diet for thousands of years and we wanted to trial it and create TEF products designed for the Western palate. TEF's a nutritious, gluten-free whole grain with a nice nutty flavour and no allergens. And the scientific data shows that it's a good source of iron, calcium, fibre and resistant starch. And it's also got a protein level similar to wheat and a good amino acid balance. We work with the CSIRO developing prototype TEF foods. We've got TEF bread, muffins and also extruded snacks. The extruded snacks are crunchy ball size and they can be used either as a crispy snack or they could also be used in cereals, depending on the way that you wanted to dry them after they come out of the extruder. And they've got a potential to be a really healthy snack or cereal. Without CSIRO and FIA, all we'd be able to do would be have a, a grain and a flour product. And in the long term, that's not vertically integrating or helping us out as farmers. So we really wanted to do the value-added products, which FIA and CSIRO have been able to help us with. We wouldn't have been able to do anything. <laughs> We're not scientists. <laughs> We're good at growing the crop and looking after that side of it. The CSIRO and FIAL have been able to put us in contact with industry leaders and manufacturers, which has been a real benefit to our business. One of the main people I work with at CSIRO was Two, which has been absolutely fantastic to work with. There's been weekly conversations backwards and forwards on updates on how we're getting along and it's and it's been great to bring her out here and show her where the origins of the TEF comes from that she's been working on in the lab. FIAL have been great with networks. You know, they put us in touch with government officials that can help us with grants and also themselves helping with grants and also helping putting us in contact with industry leaders who help progress our prototypes, I guess. The muffin mixes that we developed with the CSIRO taste fantastic and they're just about ready for commercialisation and released into the retail and wholesale markets. And we've also been certified by Celiac Australia in New Zealand. We have started engaging with smaller retails, independents, green grocers and also health food stores distributing our retail products. Our long term goal would be to export our Australian grown TEF to not only Asia but the rest of the world. Uh, it's been a long road but it's been you know, it's been really fun. We really enjoy doing this sort of thing and it's something a bit different to farming. The goal is to grow the TEF industry in Australia and have this become a major part of our farming operation. So look out for TEF in your local health food store.